Whether it's Pope Francis wearing a puffer jacket or images of Donald Trump being arrested, realistic-looking fakes generated by artificial intelligence have been taking the internet by storm. They were created using software developed by research laboratory Midjourney, which has now paused free trials of its tools due to high demand and abuse. Earlier this week, Elon Musk and tech experts from around the world signed an open letter calling for a pause in the development of powerful artificial intelligence systems to allow time to make sure they're safe. Among the signatories on the letter was Professor Noel O'Connor of Dublin City University. It's a welcome uh, call by some part of the scientific community to say, hey, maybe we need to take a beat here and think about what we're doing before rushing headlong into developing this type of technology. I suppose the other thing to make uh, very clear is that it's not a call for a pause on all AI development. It's only on these incredibly powerful, deep language, uh, large language models that can generate this type of content. Models like ChatGPT, a website which Italian authorities today moved to block. The Italian Data Protection Commission has launched an investigation into ChatGPT amid privacy concerns. Now today, the Irish Data Protection Commission said it's following up with its Italian counterpart to understand the basis for that decision, adding that it's a matter it will examine at EU level. The EU is currently working on new artificial intelligence regulations. What we need to move to is teeth on this regulation because there's so many benefits to AI, but you can't just take it innovation for innovation's sake and, and allow it to happen unchecked, uh, allow it to happen without the, the checks and balances in such a powerful technology. Whether it's fakes that can trick us into thinking they're real or cyber criminals using chatbots to help with their scams, it seems that the time for regulating for the future has already arrived. Today, Brian O'Donovan, RTE News.